What's up, I'm Chom Time, and welcome back to another episode of the Chom Time Restaurant Review. So today I'm in the Jamestown, North Carolina area, and I was in a mood for some southern food. And I mean some really good southern food, too. So I found this place out here in Jamestown that has a great reputation, and people seem to love this place. I mean, people are really smart. I mean, moms over this place. But we're about to see how good this restaurant really is. Ladies and gentlemen, Taste Take Our Review comes from Southern Roots Restaurant in the Bay. Welcome to the show. All right, so I got a few things, but first we're gonna try this cornbread now. Now this cornbread right here that I got right here was eight dollars. Just want y'all to see the cornbread right there, man. You know, it actually looks pretty good, man. It smells nice and buttery. This cornbread cost me eight dollars, man. And I'm just not sure why, but let's just try it out. I mean, let's try it. Dipping this butter right here. Not really feeling that. But they do have right here what seems to be gravy, so let's try to dip it in the gravy too. Okay. It's a little bit better. So the price of $8, it's worth it in the sense that you get big portions, right? But as far as the taste of this cornbread, I don't really like it. I did like it with the gravy, but by itself, it just wasn't the business. And I think it's because I'm used to cornbread being really sweet. This cornbread was not sweet at all. And for this to be a Southern restaurant, I would think that they would make this cornbread just a little sweet. And that's really the only thing that's missing with this right here. Cause if it was sweet, this would probably be the best cornbread in the city. But in my own opinion, I, I just can't get jiggy with this shit. So the cornbread, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five. So apparently this restaurant is known for their sandwiches too. So I got Sam's North Carolina BLT sandwich right here. Got the sweet potato fries right here. And if we lift this up right there, we got shrimp, fried green tomato, and tomato aioli. This sandwich right here sent me back $11, which is not bad because it came with a side of sweet potato, so I won't really trip it. I do wanna see how this tastes, man, because this right here looks really, really unique. Okay, this is good. This right here is how a BLT is supposed to be made, right? People don't make BLTs like this right here. They don't toast the bread. They don't add a little bit of sauce on there to make it, you know what I'm saying, pop out. Not only that, it doesn't have this big wild piece of lettuce on there. It has a fried green tomato on there. It has this nice big country bacon right here. Just so you guys can see the bacon right there. I mean, it has about five pieces of shrimp. The tomato aioli is nice and sweet. It's really good. All good things about this sandwich right here. And also the fact that they put this on sourdough bread too, just make it that much better. Yeah, it's all the restaurants around here that's like trying to make BLTs. Y'all need to go over to Southern Roots and take notes, man. Cause this right here's the bomb diggity. Mm, so Sam's NC Shrimp, gotta give it a nine. And this next plate right here, man, I wanna say it is hot as f and This is called the Lunch Seafood Guh 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 Gumbo. Just so y'all can see that right there, man. I can't hold it down too much because I don't want to spill all over my flow, but uh, this smells very seafoody. This lunch seafood gumbo costs $18, and it has shrimp, scallops, looks like sausages, looks like rice. I see okra, red peppers, onions, and looks like some red beans up in here. Anyway, let's just try this bad boy out. Mmm. Mm. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to try that one more time because I gotta make sure that's what I just tasted. It's busting now. So the gumbo right here is definitely seafood gumbo. It has a very heavy presence of seafood. Got the scallops, got the shrimp right here, and then you got the NC lump crab. I mean, this thing right here is very hearty and very Southern to say the least. Now, when it comes to flavor, this does have a lot of flavor, do not get me wrong, but I'm a spicy guy. And in my own opinion, when you're making gumbo, this should be heavily seasoned. And it could use a little bit more rice. Another thing I wanna add is this this, this gumbo is, is a bit uh, watery. The last time I checked gumbo was supposed to be just a little bit thick. I could be wrong, but this is definitely a little bit on the watery side. So the gumbo, I'ma definitely, I'ma definitely give it an eight. All right, y'all. Let's get into the experience. First off, it took my food about 20 minutes and 53 seconds to come out. It's pretty good. This restaurant is very artsy, all right? I mean, it's art everywhere. It's art throughout the whole restaurant. So if you like art, you like looking at nice pictures, 
this restaurant might be for you. The vibes of this restaurant is on a thousand. It was playing good Southern music. The bar was nice and freaking clean. The outside sit there, it was really nice too. It had the nice heat lamps and also had the logs surrounding the outside seating area, which was, I mean, to me, that's, that's very creative. But one particular thing I did not like about this restaurant is that the tables are a little bit too small for big people like me. I mean, I need some leg room, man. I gotta stretch my legs you gotta stretch, stretch my legs and that could be kind of challenging for a brother like me considering the fact that some of the tables were extremely close so if i stretch my leg i might back up hit somebody in the back you feel what i'm saying didn't really like that parking at this restaurant can be a complete small parking area but they do have overflow parking area across the street behind some apartments or should i say condos which it's okay but it could be a little bit dangerous if you're walking back there at night because it does look kind of sketchy back there this restaurant has some expensive items don't get me wrong some of it is worth it but not enough comes with it you feel what i'm saying this seafood gumbo cost me about 18 dollars, right and it didn't come with nothing but i got a blt sandwich for 11 dollars, and it came with a side what's up with that make it make sense it's. Yeah, so in my opinion, I mean, I feel like for $18, it should come with something. Can I get some bread? Can I get a roll, some cone bread, some collard greens, take the side of something? Yeah, man, I, I definitely won't feel that either. But on the flip side of that, this restaurant has a 96.5 sanitation score, which to me is pretty freaking good. This right here was a good southern restaurant in the Jamestown, North Carolina area, so I recommend anyone that's watching this video, if you're in Greensboro, Raleigh, Durham, Charlotte, wherever you're watching this video around the world, if you're in Jamestown, you might want to come to this restaurant. Great menu items, some great food, gumbo's a little bit watery. But I'm pretty sure you'll find something on the menu that you'll like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up another Chime Time restaurant review. Thanks so much for supporting me. For more vlogs, recipes, and content, Follow me on YouTube, please. It's Mr. Chime Time if you didn't know. And if you want me to do any restaurant in the world, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. And again, all my fans, I love y'all so, 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 so much. Thanks for the support. Be blessed. And I'm out of here. Peace.